So it's two minute Tuesday, but the lights in the shop are out and Thomas is filming in the area that does have lights. So we're just gonna have to make this work. So on this week's Two Minute Tuesday, I'm not gonna necessarily be showing you how to install something, but we are gonna go through some important numbers that you should know if you do your own routine maintenance, whether it be oil changes, transmission and diff fluid, all that good stuff. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's run through it. This is gonna be for the 2015 to 2019 WRXs and SCIs out there. We're gonna start off with the all important oil change. If you have a WRX, you're gonna need 5.4 quarts of oil. And if you have an SCI, you're gonna need 4.5 quarts, both with 5W30 synthetic oil recommended. Now, quick tip for you, if you are refilling your oil, and you don't want to play the guessing game. If you take a look at your dipstick from the low point to the full point, that is 1.1 quart. So you can use that to kind of gauge how much oil you need to add if necessary. Moving over to the transmission slash front diff fluid. Both cars, no matter what transmission you have, are gonna use 75W90 fluid. And if you have the WRX with the six speed manual transmission, you'll need 3.5 quarts. If you have the CVT, you need 1.5. And then if you have the SCI, you need 4.3 quarts. Same thing for the rear diff, 75W90. If you have the WX, you need 0.8 quarts, no matter what transmission you have. And then for the SCI, you need 1.1 quarts. Now, before I go any further, I do wanna let you guys know that I will have this info in the description below, so you're gonna have to keep going through this video trying to find what you need. Everything will be listed for you. For coolant, if you have a WX with the manual transmission, you need 8.7 quarts. For the CVT, you need 8.9. And then the SCI needs 8.2. Now, as far as brake fluid, goes you can either use dot three or dot four fluid i don't really have a brake fluid capacity for you that's something you need to keep your eye on with the brake fluid reservoir since that can change depending on the wear on your brake pad so keep your eye on that and top it up with whatever fluid you use I've just got a couple more things that are nice to know for you guys. Tire pressures, 33 PSI in the front and 32 PSI in the rear is what's recommended in the owner's manual and 89 foot pounds of torque on those lug nuts to keep those wheels from falling off. And that pretty much covers it for this video, guys. Again, if you have any questions or video requests, leave them in the comment section down below and I will be down there answering once this video is posted. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we can get these lights fixed.